Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom series. Today we have traveled to Sonoma for the Sonoma 46. This is going to be race number 20 in the More Freedom series, season four. And as we're two races into the second uh, second half of season four, let's go through your top, current top 10 in points. Your leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fourth will be the 88 of NM. Fifth will be the 49 of Jetman. Sixth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Seventh will be the 203 of Signs. Eighth will be the 72 of Duchess. And tied for ninth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna and the 11 of TC Roberts. Let's take a look at those team and chassis standings. MBR narrowly leads the way over Douche Motorsports. Third will be Aces to Zed Motorsports. Fourth will be Amish Buggy Racing. And rounding out the top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. That's a look at all things points here in the More Freedom Series. They are getting these cars dialed in. So we're going to see what they can do here today at Sonoma. And I think it's about time, so let's go racing. Well, let's go through your starting top 10 today for this uh, Sonoma 46. Starting on the pole will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. And on her outside, the 11 of T.C. Roberts. Starting third will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. And on his outside, the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Starting fifth will be the 25 of JTM. And on his outside, the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Starting seventh will be the 10 of Scooter. And on his outside, the 211 of Hogs. Starting ninth will be the 96 of Nico. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 20 of Adam B5000. So let's look at your starting top 10 today for this Sonoma 46. Notables, the double zero Mudbone, your points leader starting in 12th today. You saw Adam's going to be starting 10th. NM is starting in the 32nd position here today. Jetman is going to line up and start in the, I'm looking for him in the list, the 24th spot here today. So that's your top 10 in points. If we look through the rest of the field, the, the 799 of Mike Check going to be starting 27th. Duchess will be starting 28th. And let's see, we got Zed will be starting in the 23rd position. And you saw TC be starting second here today. So we got that 356 of ice cream some days for G3 Motorsports and the Publix Chevy. Publix Nine Lives Chevy going to be start bringing us down to take this green flag here today at Sonoma. We're going to see how she does with a road course. Uh, good finish last week for the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Ended up finishing second over that 23 of Folder Than You by, I think it was like eight thousandths of a second. She uh, finished second there. Good look at that orange and beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car as it leads us down towards the green flag here today at Sonoma. So we're going to see what all these drivers have for our second road course of the year. And I do believe this is our second. Wait, no, this might be, I'm looking. No, this is our second road course of the year. Our third one will be coming in August for the Charlotte Roval 80 on the 30th of August. So that'll wrap up our road courses for the year so three road courses on the schedule as always maybe as from now on here in the more freedom series almost ready to go green here it is a very long pace lap here at sonoma two two ish mile course as ice cream leading us down we're heading into the final turn everybody's going to slow down for that final turn on the outside there Ice Cream's going to get that hammer down, try to catch up to the 11 of T.C. Roberts. She does. Frederick's getting lined up there. We are ready to go as we head through that final left-hand turn towards the start-finish line. Green flag is out, and we are underway. So Ice Cream leaned us down into turn one and up the hill it looks like here through the S's is what I'm going to call them as we head down 
into some more S's. I'm not familiar with as much as the corners as probably some people are here at Sonoma, but ice cream is leading the way so far as we head on lap one. Jump back through the field. See, they're, they're probably going to file up single file as we see double file racing here with Scooter and the 40 of Veteran Chaos, the 211 of Hogs, jumping down to the inside right there as we see the 96 of Nico on the outside of your second place in points as they hit through the grass. Right, well, it's not really grass here in California. That's more dirt than anything else as we see your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, working in behind the 96 of Nico. We'll jump back up here to the front of the field for the 356 of Ice Cream some days as we come into the final hairpin here at Sonoma. I know in my racing career, that hairpin was always tough for me as we head down into the final left-hander and across the stripe, Ice Cream. You're going to lead lap one here today. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. So Ice Cream leading the way here as we work lap number two of 20 in this Sonoma 46, which actually may be 40 miles. I'm not sure. It used to be longer, so we've kept the 46 for Sonoma. Let's jump through this field and see what we have going on as we do see that double zero of Mudbone is able to get around the 96 of Nico. That was for the 10th position as Mudbone had not, listen, he didn't start last today, so I don't, he can't go first to last like he's done the last two races. He's got to go, what, 12th, 12th to first. As a note from the series history, there's been several two time two in a row winners, but there's never been a three in a row winner. So Mudbone is trying to make history here today and possibly get that third win as we'll jump back through this field and see what's going on. As we see the triple seven of Seabass down to the inside of the 13 of King of the Aces. Aces is gonna have that left hander be able to pull away. Actually, I think King of the Aces was uh, around the outside of the triple seven of Seabass. That was actually for a uh, position there. As we mostly have single file racing. And I believe, I'm thinking back, I think it was last season was a uh, big slick one. This race last season, he went on a tear there for a little bit for what is now Kager Racing. Speaking of that, his teammate, the 70, his former teammate and brother, not former brother, still brother, 71 to Kung Fu Beer runs in the 31st position. He's made up a couple spots here since the start. Started in the last spot as we see the 88 of NM dive down to the inside and around him. So we'll jump back up here to the front of the field and check in on your leader, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. As she has about a half second lead over the 11 of TC Roberts as we work lap number three here today. So we're going to see if this is going to be a one or a two pit stop race. I foresee, So knowing this 11 of TC Roberts, who is a very good on the gas mileage in every race that he's been in, um, I can foresee the 11 of TC Roberts having a good fuel mileage day and making it a one pit stop affair. Uh, if he does not battle it out with the 356 and just kind of rides back there but T we're going to see what TC has up his sleeve today as he is currently running second third is going to be the double the 07 of douche back and so douche uh, starts third remains third the 544 behind him we're basically in the same order in which we started except the 40 of veteran chaos nah he's yeah we're basically in the same order in which we started so far today, only pass, I think, in the top 10 is going to be by the double zero over the 96 of Nico, whose teammate and brother, the 51 of AJM, runs in there behind him. So we're going to check in on your leader as TC was closing in on the back of Ice Cream some days. Former teammates here last season, the 356 ran for Aces to Zed Motorsports in that Toyota, and it's just taken her, I think, Pretty much the entire half, first half of the season to get that Chevy figured out and then uh, try to make, see what she can do for the last half of this season. Currently running 
30th in points right now and desperately looking for more desperately looking for more points here and good way to start it as she's going to get those 10 bonus points one for starting five for starting on the pole and five for leading a lap so 10 bonus points coming her way which is i mean that's going to put her basically into uh, it almost catches her up to 29th with the 211 of hogs So she is trying to get a win here in the More Freedom Series. I believe she had a win last year. She was in the top 10 in points for career points, um, but due to just a rough season so far, has made her fall back a little bit. So she is working the front of this field. In front of that, 11 of TC Roberts, who is not letting her get away. Uh, still just a few, less than a second behind her. Just a couple car lengths, really. So I'd say about four, three or four or five, maybe five car lengths across the start-finish line there. We'll check and see what the uh, what it tells us in timing and scoring. So just about four-tenths of a second. That's about, about what it's been. For the entirety of the race, as we watch the 07, they're just kind of running, roll, right and around right now. We'll, we're just jumping back through this field, see if we got some action going on here in the back of the pack. There's the 49 to Jetman, who currently runs in the 21st position. He needs to definitely make up some spots here today, um, as well as the 88 of NM, who currently runs 30th. They both def definitely need to make up some spots or they're going to keep falling back to that double zero of Mudbone. There's the Pink Panther right there. The 95 is Zed Brunner running, who runs ninth in points. Behind him, known wrecker, the 23 of Fuller than you. As we see the 29, a wishbone attack making that pass on the 420, a Queen of Hearts, or at least trying to make that pass on the 420, a Queen of Hearts. Bat on the track for the 26th position. We saw Wishbone jumping down to the inside there. Not able to make that pass. Good run on the outside by the 420. She's going to keep that spot as we see the 666 of Pistol Pete. Thinking about jumping down to the inside of the 799 of Mike Check here. So Pistol Pete, rookie of the season. Uh, first season here in the More Freedom Series with... Amish Buggy Racing has had just a rough go this season, uh, involved in several incidences on the track, and currently runs in uh, 33rd in points right now. So he is trying his best here in season number one, and hopefully for him, the season gets a little bit better as we keep going. And last but not least, there in the back of the pack, the three of Geek Girl Games, last season's points champion, currently runs 12th in points this season she is having a rough go as her teammates as their teammates bookend right now as a three is in the back and the three five six leads the way over the 11 of tc roberts as we complete lap number seven here today so we'll see if they can make it to the halfway points before they pit and if they do and and uh, Ice Cream is the leader. She'll get another five bonus points for leading at halfway here today. So fingers crossed for her that she gets that extra five bonus points. But TC definitely needs it as well as, he, again, he's still tied with a 95. A Zed Brunna only three points behind the 72 of Duchess for eighth position and 10 points behind the 203 of Signs. So with this run, you could possibly see that 11 of TC Roberts actually jump into possibly the seventh position or higher as we watch that 799 of Mike Check who runs 28th right now is only 65 points ahead of TC. So TC could be in for a huge points gain, possibly even into the top five. So he's de he's definitely going to be fighting his way. <laughs> Getting it. You got to get and if it keeps up this way, you know, like we're going to be looking at a pit stop affair again this today as we did last week. And I don't believe there was any cautions last week, so that was all pit road. 
So for these drivers, they have to get on the pit road. They have to make that good stop and they have to get off of pit road in a timely manner or that's really just going to cost them the race, you know. So Ice Cream is definitely going to be trying to get in and off of pit road in a good good manner. Trying to see how to, how to phrase that. Uh, no passing as of right now. I'm watching the timing and scoring. But we'll jump back and see if there's anybody close. I see the kind of separate. The closest race on the track right now is almost for first position as we do see the 95 as Ed Brunna is able to get around the 33 of Harvey Jones. So Zed picks up a position there. Queen of Hearts moves up over the 20, uh, the 23 of Fullerton than you. And Mike Check passes, or the 666 of Pistol Pete able to get around the 799 of Mike Check as we see the 29 of Wishbone Attack kind of falling back right now. So Wishbone, who has moved up to 21st in points, has kind of fallen back a little bit here in the race. After start, he's 20, he started 29th and he's currently running 27th. Lost a few positions after he was unable to get around that 420 at Queen of Hearts. As we see the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Oh, getting a little bit of contact by the three of Geek Girl Games. So G3 with some contact there. As we see pit stops underway here today, as we watch the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days pulls into the pits. With 10 laps to go, so she doesn't quite make it to halfway. Uh, TC is going to lead. I think he's going to lead at halfway here today. We'll check and make sure as she is four tires fueled down and away. A little bit of an issue right there with the pace car sitting there. So we're going to see if that affects her time. She's going to have to have a fantastic outlap as a result of that. Two oh three as signs was in. Here comes the eleven at TC Roberts. This is going to be a one pit stop race for everybody today as we watch that eleven at TC Roberts pulling into pit road, sliding it wide there. Get woed up before the end before that stripe. You don't want to get a penalty here. So we're watching TC coming down pit road, and we're going to see if there's any takers for an extra lap here today. Or, I mean, it looks like everybody's coming in now. So TC is leading the rest of the pack down pit road here today. And we're going to see if the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days gets a fantastic outlap. As she is coming into the hairpin right now, we're going to watch her through the hairpin. She's going to have that car fired up and trying to get out as we see some of those drivers coming out she's through the left hander she's across the stripe we're going to see where she enters or where tc enters at and she looks like she might have the run on him right here she's going to have tires that will be able to make this run and make the make it stick through the turns so she is able with that outlap, even though she had a little bit of an issue with the, with that uh, <laughs> pace car. I listen. I couldn't remember what it was called for a second. So she is able to get a great outlap, get back around, and get around the eleven of TC Roberts. Actually, kind of pulling away from him right now, as TC's going to have cold tires. Uh, we will go through everything in just a moment. Once everything is sorted out here in just a moment and we get, and we do have a yellow flag, folks. We have a yellow flag on the track and it looks like that's going to involve the 211 of Hogs. So we're going to see if there's any takers for Pit Road here today. And we're going to see what this does, how this affects everybody. So Hogs has a terrible day today as I believe with leading that lap, uh, that is going, unless 
TC can make a pass here, that is going to probably give Ice Cream the most laps led here today. Um, so let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is the 356 of Ice Cream someday. Second's going to be the 11 of TC Roberts. Third is going to be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Fourth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. So Winkle looking good here again today. Currently running third in points. Excuse me. Fifth is going to be the 25 of JTM. So currently running another top 10 for that 25. Not sure what they are doing here. They're just bumping and grinding on each other. Six is going to be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Seven is going to be the 10 of Scooter. Eighth is going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Ninth. Wait, no, 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 no. Seven, seventh is going to be the 10 of Scooter. Eighth is going to be the double zero of Mudbone. Ninth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. And 10th will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. I'm looking for the 96 of Nico. He is, he was running in the 10th position. He's back to 13th. So it looks like he lost a few positions uh, on the outlap there. We're going to see if there's any takers for Pit Road, and I can't imagine that there are going to be takers for Pit Road here today in the More Freedom Series. Uh, this should put us to the end of the race with this caution. So I'm going to wait and see before we jump into seeing what happened with the 211 a hog. And looks like the 203 of signs has fallen all the way back to the 32nd position, which is surprising, but I mean, kind of odd. So he must have had an extended day in the pits. Extended day, extended stay in the pits. So doesn't look like there's going to be any takers for pit road. So let's have let's see what happened with that 203 or the 211 of hogs. Well, unfortunately for the 211, it's going to involve himself, the 999 of deviant and the 203 of signs. Uh, signs looks like he's tried. It's going to be basically a three wide deal here. So let's go through this. You saw that accident right there with the 203 and the 211 and the 999 of Deviant. So just a race and deal. They were three wide, and Deviant looks like it, he may have gotten into the back of the, two, the 211, who also gets into the 203 of Signs. So Signs is running in the back of the pack now. He's missing his hood, and uh, hopefully he's doing a – you know, like hopefully he can still – Maybe make up some spot. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out what he does. You can look at that red, white, and blue engine he's got in there. He must be. He's definitely supporting the Texas on his car there. So it looks like the lights are out on that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. So we're going to be going green at the end of this lap as we slowly make our way around Sonoma here. The 356 is your leader. Again, over the 11 of T.C. Roberts as we look at him um, uh, bunching, uh, going into the double file action here. Again, we're going to see a little bit of craziness as we get into the hairpin with everybody, but hopefully they can get themselves sorted out before the start of the lap. And uh, so Ice Cream is trying to, again, she's going to try to win this here. And after that, caution flag. And you know what they say, cautions breed cautions. So we're going to see if everybody behaves themselves or if we, if we start having more and more cautions here today. As the pace car is in and ice cream has control of the field, she's going to be working around the outside right here. So she has to slow down a little bit for that hairpin. The 11 uh, keeps up with her here. C 
coming out of the final left hand turn. And the green flag is out. We're back underway. We're going to see if we're going to see if the 11 of TC Roberts gets a jump into the S's. It looks like TC might have the jump on her here. Watching just as they go through that left hander, Ice Cream is battling on the outside right now. She's got the hammer down. She's going to be able to get past that 211. So TC isn't able to take advantage of that caution as we do see the 25 of JTM down to the inside of the 07 of Douche Baggins. So JTM is trying to work to the front of this field. DB back on the inside as they head through another set of S's. Here comes DB, JTM. Trying his hardest right now, working into the third position. DB very wide out of the turn. He might lose that position to the 544 as well. Able to keep it underneath him. The 07 of Douche Baggins working towards that hairpin as we do see the 11 right to the back bumper of the 356. So the 25 of JTM able to take away the third position. For, actually, I think he restarted fifth. So JTM going to make up a couple spots here. He's going to take away two positions on that restart from the 07, and I believe the 544, Frederick Winklevom. So movement here today, that is, yeah, that's going to put, he's going to move up two spots there on that restart. Looks like the 777 of Seabass going to gain a spot, the 300 and the 33, <clears throat> as we see lots of battling through this field right now. We're checking on your leader, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. She, I believe she is officially going to have led the most laps here today with five laps to go, and she has led 11 of them, 11 of the 15. So she is going to have a 15 bonus points coming her way at the end of this race today. Let's check in on the back of the field as we do see the 203 assigns with, even without that hood. He's able to make up a couple positions after the restart. And he's around the 72 and the 3 as we watch the 29 of Wishbone Attack battling right now with the 799 of Mike Check. 23 of Fuller Than You has fallen way back to the back right now. He is currently running 27th on the track as we watch the 29 of Wishbone Attack on the inside of the 799 of Mike Check. So battles in the back of the pack right now as we watch the 88 of NM and the 71 of Kung Fu Beer battling it out. NM looks like he kind of gives up that position to the 71 to Kung Fu Beer as they head in through the S's right here. Jump up through this field. And we'll check in on your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone currently running in the eighth position. As we see that 25 of JTM, he is looking racy here today. He's going to lose a little bit of time there. But he was trying to get underneath the 11 of TC Roberts. That's actually going to be a benefit to the 356. She's going to be able to get a couple car lengths away from the 11 of TC Roberts. And we're going to see if that just causes issues for the drive on the 25. So JTM was trying to make a move for the second position. He's not able to get that position away from the 11. He's actually going to drop back about 10 car lengths, I think, from the back of the 11 to TC Roberts. Probably got some dirty tires when he went through that turn. Maybe hit some marbles or something as TC swings it way wide. I'm not sure if he was going to try it on the outside on the 356, but he was, he was, he was thinking about something here. I think he's thinking in his head, I've got JTM back here, and he is he is absolutely battling me right now. And if I don't try to make the run here with three laps to go, he's going to look at him close in on the back of that 11 of TC Roberts. And if, he, if TC doesn't get the pedal down and try to battle it out with a 356, there's no way he's going to win this race. So an amazing job 
to keep that car in front of the 25 at JTM as JTM is trying to battle back to the back bumper of the 11 at TC Roberts here. The battle for the win here at Sonoma rages as we got about two or three laps to go uh, when Ice Cream crosses the stripe here. In her first season for G3 Motorsports, running with the champion, the three of Geek Girl Games, and trying to put a win underneath her belt here today at Sonoma. She has a two-tenths of a second lead over the 11 of TC Roberts, who is just up... I mean, it's just a few car lengths between basically each car in the top five, maybe the top ten. As we see the 25 at JTM through that O'Reilly's turn right there is a very, very good. And if he can keep that up, maybe he can uh, force a mistake on the 11 at TC Roberts, catch up to him through another one of these turns and battle it out. So TC may possibly just be slow through that turn. As we're watching Ice Cream heading down towards the hairpin here before the final left-hander. Watching them through that hairpin coming down towards the stripe. She is going to be your leader. Two laps to go for the 356 of Ice Cream some days who's got that narrow lead. Over the 11 of T.C. Roberts, who is just in content, just, I mean, the 25 of JTM is right there on his bumper almost, and JTM is, if he can get around the 11 of T.C. Roberts, I don't think he has anything for the last two laps for ice cream, but he definitely could use that second place position, or second place finish here today. But T.C. solidly in the second position, he is right to the bumper of the 356 of ice cream some days JTM doesn't get as close this time around as ice cream is your leader with about one and a quarter laps to go here at Sonoma final set of S is headed towards the hairpin ice cream out to the lead right now and uh, the 11 of TC Roberts right to her back bumper and JTM to his back bumper. And we can't forget about that 07 of Douche Baggins. Any shenanigans that happen up here, he could be the one that wins this race. White flag is out. One lap to go here at Sonoma for the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Up through the first set of S as they go. The 11 of TC Roberts to her back bumper. We're going to see if he has anything. Here on the last lap, see if he can make a last lap pass on the 356. TC right there. Any stumble by the 356 of Ice Cream some days could result in an 11 of TC Roberts pulling out this win. She breaks away by a couple car lengths heading towards the O'Reilly turn, I do believe, where they are so good. Not able to get to get to the underneath of her. Maybe should have tried that on the outside for that 11 of TC Roberts. Threw another set of S's here. Barely holding on right now. She's got about five car lengths up on the 11 of TC Roberts as we head towards the final section of S's, headed towards the final hairpin. We're going to see if TC does any kind of shenanigans into the final hairpin here. So very close for the 11 of TC Roberts, but I think this is going to be the 356 of Ice Cream some days. This is going to be her day. She's going to pull out a win here at Sonoma. So awesome run by the 356 of Ice Cream some days. She's going to lead uh, 17 laps here today, and even though she had a little bobble in the pits, has a great outlap and is able to secure that win after making a pass on the 11 of TC Roberts as he came out of the pits and get a great restart after that caution flag. So let's go through your finishing top 10. 
Again, your winner here today is the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Second's going to be the 11 of TC Roberts. Third will be the 25 of JTM. Fourth will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Fifth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Sixth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Seventh will be the 10 of Scooter. Eighth will be your points leader, double zero of Mudbone. Ninth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 13 of King of the Aces. So awesome run here for the 356. And next week, we head to Phoenix. Or no, we head to Las Vegas for the Las Vegas 80. So that should be an exciting race next week in Las Vegas. It's going to be a hot race. I, I, I can guarantee that. Let's get a look at your point standings as I think the double zero of Mudbone will probably keep the, keep the top position. But you're seeing those points here on the screen. Let's also check in on your team and chassis standings. And uh, awesome race here today for the 356 of Ice Cream Someday. She is your winner here at Sonoma with a fantastic, again, a fantastic run off the out of the pits and then a fantastic start after that caution. And so she's, she's going to be able to hang on to the lead after both of those and uh, win it here today at Sonoma. So awesome job for the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days puts a win under the belt for G3 Motorsports this season. And until next week at Las Vegas, take care.